Hey guys, it's Brian from Get 10,000 Fans. I'm actually here with a, a buddy of mine, Paul Reddick. Um, I brought Paul onto this call because I wanted him to kind of share his story, how he got started using Facebook, whether it's fan pages or ads, to run um, a, a business that that is his uh, called 90 Mile Per Hour Club. And if you guys know anything about my story, you know that I kind of got started in the baseball world, played it growing up my whole life, played it in college, and that was actually my first website online. It was a site called trainbaseball.com that we still run. Um, so kind of how I met Paul was he owns a site, like I said, 90 Mile Per Hour Club, where he coaches pitchers. And uh, he was one of the big guys that I kind of originally, when I was scoping out that market to see who I could learn from or you know, kind of see how they were doing things, um, I knew that he had one of the, the best sites out there. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how we met. Um, so Paul, thanks for, uh, for joining me on the, on the call. Yeah, of course. Happy to do it. So one of the things I wanted you to kind of communicate to to our people who might be thinking about either jumping into our Facebook ads course or our fan page funnel course to, to learn how to set up their whole marketing funnel when it comes to Facebook to get more leads, get more traffic, and obviously make more sales and find more customers on Facebook. Um, because your story is kind of pretty unique. You're in a, a small little niche being baseball that I have experience yeah. in that is you know, hard to do what you've been able to do. Um, and you didn't necessarily use Facebook from the get-go. So I was wondering if you could kind of just share your story of you know, either how we met or kind of how you ended up using Facebook, um, you know, kind of what, what things were like before, or kind of as you started to test it and some of the results you got. Yeah, like what well, you said, we met kind of in the baseball market and then uh, you came to uh, one of the business seminars that we do. And I think at the time you were still, you know, you hadn't developed the, the, the Facebook side of things yet. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, as we were kind of discussing that, and you were building that, there was a part of me that was kind of like, this is really kind of smart stuff and we need to start implementing it ourselves. And um, that was, I think that was actually before ads were even um, available, if I'm correct. I don't yeah, think- Yeah, it was early on, definitely. Yeah, and, and so we started with the fan page and um, we built a 10,000 person fan page, you know, kind of just like you said it would happen. And, uh, and bear in mind, I, I, I went into Facebook kind of kicking and screaming. So I, I've been online since uh, the year 2000. So coming up on 15 years, it will be coming up soon. So I've, you know, I've been through the gamut of every ad platform you can think of, every type of paid traffic, free traffic. I remember when YouTube <laughs> came out, you know, and, and all these things. So um, I kind of have done it all. And I, 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 at that point, I was kind of like in these simple few things that we did, we did them well. And, you know, when, when you came along with Facebook stuff and, you know, I kind of had this unique perspective on your products, seeing them as they were kind of developed and uh, we started doing them. Um, it was not something I really wanted to succeed. I kind of am a dinosaur. I wanted to stay a dinosaur and I didn't want all these new kind of things to have to figure out. Yep. And that's a thing a lot of marketers go through is that they don't want those new things to be good, you know, because yep. every time a new thing comes around, it's something you got to figure out. So, but with Facebook, it was, it was really different from um, anything else that we uh, had worked with. Um, and, you know, we kind of, we followed what you did. And, you know, just like your first product said, we, we, we achieved that goal rather quickly and have since duplicated you know, that's still that initial fan page formula. So I know we'll talk about ads and everything else, but that initial fan page formula, I think we've duplicated like eight times. It's crazy. And yeah, and, and like every time, I think we have one that's not quite 10,000 fans. It's like 9,600 fans or something like that. Yep. And these, these are not, these are not markets that, uh, we're basically in sports publishing. So we're, we're in a lot of hockey and soccer and basketball. These are not markets like six pack abs or, you know, uh, all, all kinds of huge markets. You know yeah, what I mean? exactly. These are markets where it's it's really really niche down, so it's not easy to do. Um, but yeah, oh, you know, over and over, we've been able to repeat that process. Awesome. How is it like? I guess for your your main site, Ninety Mile Power Club, where you're selling training programs to pitchers um, yeah. or coaches or their parents. Um, what was it like when you first? I guess got Facebook ads running into the funnel, kind of like how we teach people to set them up. 
um, and you kind of do the similar thing. A lot of what I've learned, I actually learned from you over the years and then just kind of tweaked it to work on Facebook with some more lower end front end products to you know upsell into other things. A lot of what we teach in the fan page funnel and then a lot of the ad tactics is what we teach in uh, the Facebook Ads Academy. So how was that like implementing that? Like what were some of the results that you guys got and still get today? Well, there's there's a bunch of things. There's a bunch of things that I would say, and we've used uh, we've used both. We built our funnels off of Facebook, and and we've used that the same ad ad platform ad setup that you have. And uh, I can tell you, there's there's a lot of benefits for you as a marketer. Um, number one, you know, the funnel training. Obviously, you want to bring your people through an opt in, and you know, a sales process, and and getting them to buy continuing products and stuff like that. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a, a process that is like a never ending process in, in marketing. You're gonna spend, if you're gonna go into this field and sell anything online, you're gonna spend a, a majority of your time improving that, defining that, and making that, you know, um, convert better and upsells and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that, that process is invaluable, but that process doesn't get triggered until somebody comes to your page. Yep. Right? So there's no, you know, if there's no funnel, there's no benefit of a funnel unless you can generate the traffic to your page and generate the right type of traffic. So, um, so from the funnel perspective, it's, um, it's an unbelievable system that you've laid out and, and we've, uh, you know, we've worked with it and succeeded with it, but it's kind of like, I would say it's like, uh, you know, Reese's peanut butter cups that chocolate is really awesome. It's always going to be awesome. But you know what's even awesomer is when you get chocolate and peanut butter together, right? It becomes even uh, more tastier. So um, that's where the ad, the ads is the crucial part of it. Yeah. So we've been able to to use the setup that you teach, and right now, like a massive amount of traffic has, has is coming to our site. Yeah. Uh, we have traffic coming from a lot of different sources all over the net. Um, but I am I'm most excited about Facebook and um, I probably run ads on every single kind of platform there is. I've paid for traffic on banner ads, uh, media buys, um, you know, Google, Bing, Yahoo before they were together, MSN network, every single kind of advertising platform I've been on and we've done the whole gambit of, you know, Twitter and SEO and YouTube and, and we still do all a lot of those things, you know, yeah. they're all still very valuable traffic sources. But, and this is, so people that have known me know that this is kind of a, a powerful statement for me is that this new, the new way of doing Facebook ads, I think is, is probably the closest thing I've seen um, to really a Google killer. You know, yeah. I, I, it's the closest thing I've seen. I think it's still a little too early to say, you know, but as, as everybody knows, Google pay per click, you know, you can do it as long as you've got like a NASA degree and a Harvard MBA and, and you know, and you're a, a medical doctor, yeah. you know, you, you know all that, or you have to pay someone who, who does it. So, you know, for us, it's, it's a very difficult proposition, but I'm, I'm most excited about Facebook because Facebook, it, it, the way their, their ads are set up is the longer you run ads for me, the information they're giving you, the demos and everything that you're getting from that, the insights, it's almost like your ads, you can you can get smarter and smarter and smarter day by day with yep. your ad. Yeah. And if you're doing everything right, um, you know, like with your teaching, you know, I don't want to get too much into what you, you teach, but, um, you know, there's ways that your targeting becomes more and more and more precise. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, it's it's like a marketer's dream in there with the information that you can you can pull out. So you know, I always say to people, just because I, I actually was was marketing, you know, I've been doing this for twenty years. When we when we would buy lists yep. of you know, actual mailing lists and do direct mail, and and um, you know, if you wanted a list, say of like Sports Illustrated subscribers, that would be whatever it is. Like so let's just say ten cents a name. But if you wanted Sports Illustrated subscribers that were men, that would be another 10 cents. 50 grand to 100 grand a year, that would be another 10 cents. Uh, lived in on the East Coast, that would be another 10 cents. And then if you wanted like all of those things and like the recent subscribers, that would be another. It would get up to where the, where the more that you, what they call selects, the more um, precise you got with your targeting, the more expensive it got yep. to 
to get that person. Facebook seems to have like the reverse of that. Yeah, exactly. That the more targeted you get, the less it costs. So yep. I have a ton of clients that are in Facebook in local markets paying pennies per click, you know, and they're paying pennies per click because their targeting is so precise. Yeah. Yeah. You know, where if you were going to reverse that in the regular offline world, you'd be paying a premium. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's amazing. I mean, it's absolutely amazing what's going on there. And like I said, we're thrilled with the results and and we've been kind of thrilled with the results as Facebook develops, you know, as, yep. as and you know, um, you've helped us out here. Cool. As far as the results, um, and you don't have to share specifics, but I'm sure people would kind of be encouraged to hear um, either number of visitors you guys are getting or leads or sales or you know, even just ballpark figures to show people kind of what the, the power of this thing is, um, even in a small niche like in the baseball world. Yeah, and, and, and we, can, we can talk about it across. I mean, I can verify over, um, I, I believe it's eight niches now, eight separate niches where it's, um, where it's working. I will tell you that I've never in my life purchased traffic this cheap. And bear in mind, I was there, we were advertising on Google the first week they were accepting ads. So yeah, all those yeah. old war stories you hear about, yeah. you know, five cent clicks and stuff like that. We've never bought traffic this cheap. Um, and then that's kind of where you need the chocolate and the peanut butter because getting the traffic is great. Yeah. You know, and then that's, but having the funnel um, to move them along is really the key. So as far as a result goes to me, it's, it's like I said, I've never I've never bought traffic this cheap. And um, in several of our niches, we're actually holding the traffic at bay um, until we really perfect and build out the funnels to where we want them to be. Yeah. And, you know, um, but every single one of them um, has been profitable. Awesome. So it, it's, uh, yeah, it's been amazing. And it's just, it's a really exciting, it's an exciting time to be getting this information. Awesome. Yeah. No, thanks for, for sharing the story. I mean, that's, you know, I think it just goes to show the power of it, you know, back when I was showing you what we were doing. I mean, I was a, a newbie, I was a beginner and I was just figuring this stuff out. And, uh, so for me to be able to figure it out then, I mean, you had encouraged me to, you know, go test Google AdWords and some of this other stuff you guys were doing. And honestly, the whole reason that I kind of stumbled onto the Facebook side was those other things seemed like such a daunting task to me. And it was so easy to get an ad campaign set up. Um, so yeah. like on on that front, I guess who do you think? It's tough for me to to say. Obviously, I want to recommend my course to anyone. It's not perfect for for anyone. Um, but as far as like what you've seen going through some of them, and obviously taking you know putting it into action, and you coach a lot of marketers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Who do you think this stuff is like is perfect for? Like in an ideal scenario. You know, because I do, I coach a lot of people, so we, I have um, four mastermind groups. Everybody from fitness trainers, sports coaches, to chefs, to financial advisors, to people who do work with people, uh, credit, mortgage advisors, real estate agents, um, to internet marketers like yourself and like others who are running big internet businesses. I've yet to find someone who couldn't make this work. Sweet. So I've That's yet to news. see. Yeah. And, and, I, and I've turned on all of my clients to, to this. And, you know, here, here's the important thing I think for people to understand. And, uh, you know, I have the, the benefit of kind of a satellite view of this whole, how this whole internet marketing world developed. You know, have, what is Google, what have the ads been around for like three years, two, three years, something like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it is, it is so early in this game. It is so early. It, if I could tell you the changes that I know, that I remember in SEO, YouTube rankings, pay-per-click, Google, it's, I can't even tell you how many changes have come about over the years. Yeah. So, you know, it's important that uh, for me, for our business, that we're connected with you because you seem to be always ahead of the changes. Yeah. You know, yeah. you were, you were, you're always ahead of it. You're kind of on top of it. And I remember specifically turning to, uh, to TC one time who works with us and saying, wow, Brian's right a lot. Brian's right. Like I was like a lot, you know, and that, that somewhat angers me, but, but yeah, that was, that's what came to me is that Brian was right a lot. And so as you, as you kind of develop in this business, this is as close as you can get to a ground floor opportunity to kind of 
you know, put up your, your flag um, and get settled in. Because I'm going to tell you, the early adopters are the ones that will, uh, will do the best in, in every traffic, uh, you know, every traffic source I've ever seen. It's the early yeah. adopters. So um, I've yet to see a market where this did not work. And like I said, I have a unique experience of seeing a lot of different markets all the time. Yeah. And we've got real estate agents that are pulling leads from that for people that are looking to buy houses. We've got financial people pulling leads to help get uh, help financial like wealth management. Yep. We've got personal trainers, sports coach, everybody, all of them are all reporting back that um, it's 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 it very 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 profitable. Awesome. Very very profitable. sweet. Yeah. That's killer. And a lot of and a lot of the guys that that I work with, um, it's game changing. You know, as far as like their business, you know, it's really transformative because uh, it, it, it's taken their business to a whole different level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for, for telling that story. I'm glad we got a chance to hop on the phone and, and show guys that this can work in, in small niches and guys that have been around forever or you know, guys that are just getting started. Um, if you yeah. guys are, are watching this video, chances are you've you know, heard about us from somewhere, whether it's one of our ads or partners of ours or buddies or whoever you guys came from. Um, and if you're interested in either one of our two main courses, the Fan Page Funnel or Facebook Ads Academy, um, there should be a link right below this video. They might be open, they might be closed. Either way, you can probably jump on a, a waiting list or get right into them. Um, but thanks, Paul, for taking the time to, to tell the story. I'm glad we, uh, we got to hook up. So uh, hopefully this uh, video can encourage someone to to jump in and get started. So thanks again, and uh, we'll we'll catch up here soon. Yeah, absolutely.